Another mythical unit, another waifu here on UTD. Bro, you can't beat my Nami Te. What is going on, Flame Squad? It's your girl, Nami Te, the prettiest, the sexiest, and the thickest player here in Ultimate Tower Defense. And we're going to be checking out one of the newest waifu, another waifu for this update. And apparently, her name is Leafa. Okay, well, <laughs> that sounds like a, a fairy, or I don't know, but she's going to be from SAO. So, SAO fans, it's another SAO character for all of you. But anyway, guys, if it is your first time watching my video well come on let me hit 50k subs because it'll be so god dang hot if it will happen and of course burn that thumbs up button right now but anyway guys i just wanted to see if there's gonna be a worthy opponent for my namite as the best waifu here on utd so well Let's go. Jojo fans never fails me whenever I'm asking seriously about the power of a character from their verse. But what about from SAO, guys? SAO fans, make some noise down in the comment section below. Help me actually tell me <laughs> what is going to be the power of this fairy looking girl. I mean, my nine year old self is just telling me that this is going to be like Tinkerbell anime version. But yeah, what is going to be her power? or wait so asuna is the love interest of kirito so i guess that this is gonna be kind of like the third party ish type of love story you know that's pretty common in anime right like <laughs> the girl likes the boy but the boy likes another girl which well apparently that girl also loved the boy so yeah go die <laughs> okay there you go bulaku birdu get out of here and let me just transfer him here all right so this is gonna be a new mythical waifu unit that will cost 500 cash not you blackbeard 500 cash to be placed and since i don't really know what the heck is going on here who the heck is she well i'm only gonna base my well opinion and also <laughs> probably my review based on what i can see so let's now place her and look at that oh pretty decent range and oh wait can you do it again <laughs> i actually missed that oh she's a healer Oh, I wonder why she's not actually Kirito's partner, though. All right, so anyway, guys, without any prestige and also upgrade, Leafa is already going to give us a damage of 851, 12 range, and her cooldown will be 9.25. For her attack animation, yeah, I think that it's going to be, like, not really a full AoE, but it really depends on where you will place her, I guess. I mean, if you'll place her, like, literally here when where I'm standing, then I'm pretty sure that she will be able to hit at least those units behind her. But all I can see is kind of like those color green cross. So I'm just guessing that she's really going to be a healer, at least on the anime. But anyway, guys, let's now go straight to her next upgrade. Upgrade number one. And, uh, oh, that cost us uh, 600 cash and... Uh, her damage will now be what? Wait, what? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, wait. She is buffing herself. Yeah. But that's only like a very small amount of buff though. Wait, so does that mean? Oh, yeah, she is literally. Wait, is she stabbing herself? Okay. You know what, waifu? You know what, Leafy? Oh, bro, that was so rude. I was just trying to check your animation. Come on, girl. Okay, show it to me now. Oh, she's not stabbing herself out. All right, so she's kind of like, you know, like putting the sword in the ground, probably sticking it there. And uh, for some reason, her damage is actually changing. So, so from 1,215 damage, it'll be boosted by kind of like split seconds. Look at that, guys. 1,458 damage. So yeah, kind of like, you know, a playful way to make her a little bit different. You know what I mean? But it's barely a damage or at least an additional so uh not really sure if she can actually affect some other units but anyway guys 900 cash for her next upgrade and it's now gonna be 2187 to 2625 damage yeah so she will always have like two damage but later 
guys, we're going to be trying it out. Uh, probably we're going to place uh, maybe one Leafy here just to check out if she is actually buffing or at least affecting some of her units inside her range because that would be really nuts though because that means she will be a buffer and at the same time a damage dealer and her damage is not really that bad. Well, it's kind of outdated, not going to lie because well, 2.6k damage only for a mythical unit. That's kind of like uh, Mega Min ish era something like that but um uh, well mythical is a mythical i guess all right so the next upgrade will cost 1200 cash and oh okay so she's now hitting a little bit heavier all right so from 4131 her damage will be boosted and also range plus one 4957 guys so it's not actually split seconds i think that her damage will actually stay a little bit longer but the problem is her cooldown is 7.75 seconds, so she just doesn't have enough damage to at least kill the boss around wave number 22. So yeah, she's only gonna be like, uh, you know, like squishy mobs cleaner. But anyway, for those SAO fans, let me know in the comment section below, guys, or probably explain it to me. Why the heck Leafy or Leafa is not the partner of Kirito? I mean, if she is gonna be a support unit and Kirito will be the DPS or the damager, then what the heck is Asuna doing in the game? <laughs> like, bro. <laughs> I should have actually brought my Asuna, but that would leave me no slots for our dragon. So let's not try to max her out. Ooh, all of a sudden, she became, okay, expensive. 15,000 cash to max her out and there you go. All right, so 9,300, oh, actually 7,776 to 9,331 damage. All right, so I think that, yeah, she is really buffing herself, but I just wanted to see, guys, if she can actually buff Blackbeards or some other units, you know what I mean? So let's just, let's just max this out and let's see. So Blackbeard's damage is 15,000, wait. Oh, come on now, bruh. Oh no, Blackbeard is blasting them. Okay, so I'm just gonna sell probably one Blackbeard and put Blackbeard here without any upgrade. Oh, look at that, guys. Yeah, she's gonna affect her teammate, Nature's Promise. So I'm just wondering though, what's gonna be the percentage of the buff? Because it's not only gonna be the damage that will be buffed, also, well, the range itself. So look at that, guys, 18565. Oh, that was actually a cool mechanics. So she is, well, her damage is actually not that bad. Well, of course, it's just kind of outdated, like what I mentioned. But since she's going to be a support unit, she will be able to at least convert her support to additional damage. Kind of like a free dragon buff without any cooldown. Well, there is a cooldown, but all you need to do is just to trigger her. And look at that. The nature's promise will be here. So I guess that if we are going to buff her, with all of these, you know, dragons, she will be able to support units like on this range. And also her damage will be at 48,984. But I also wanted to check out guys if it will actually stack. By the way, that's the third Leafa that we already placed. So, oh yeah, I don't think that it would stack because it's gonna be the same, you know, um, effect, nature's promise. But look at that, guys. 48,984 for a mythical unit is actually good, given the fact that she will also affect some other units inside her range. So just to give you guys an example, look at this, guys. For our Blackbeard, when Blackbeard will actually, oh my god, will actually reach 97,465. Keep in mind, guys, that his cooldown is 2.25. Wow, so she's gonna be like, a better version of Erwin. So it's kind of like Erwin plus a little bit of Merlin, you know, on ASTD because she will buff the damage and at the same time, a little bit of range. Wow, this is actually a good unit for infinite mode. Yo, imagine the help that she will actually give. Yeah, I mean, not gonna lie though, probably Asuna is just cuter than her, but god dang, she should have been Kirito's partner, not gonna lie. Anyway, guys, just to make sure, let's try to check if we can actually place like five of her. No, so maximum of three. But if there will be like multiple players who got Leafa, 
God dang, imagine buffing those really, really OP unit, you know, like Erwin, those divine, like recent divine units that we got. That would be a heck of a damage, guys. And also range. Wow. It's my first time seeing Blackbeard with like 97,465. I'm just not sure what's going to be the percentage, guys. So for those mathematician players here in UTD, just let us know that in the comment section below. What do you guys think will be the percentage of the buff that she will give? And keep in mind, guys, that this is only a non-prestige version. So I'm not also sure if the nature's promise would actually be affected by her prestige. So I'm not not sure guys if the higher the prestige is the higher the buff that she will give but definitely she is a very good and very interesting unit to have wow all right so anyway guys that's really a worthy opponent for my namite but for those sao fans can you guys let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below whether you are happy about the way how she's actually working here on utd did they actually make her on point well just uh, comment down in the comment section below and as always thank you so much for watching don't forget to leave Leave a like and of course subscribe. Use star codes now whenever you're buying Robux. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Stay hot! Another waifu challenged me out. <laughs>